Hi guys! So in today's video I'll be talking to you about what to do if someone copies your YouTube video, what to do if someone steals your YouTube video, and how to tell if another channel is using your content. Have you heard about the YouTube copyright match tool? Let's get into the video! So what is the YouTube copyright match tool? It's available to channels that are monetized. So if your channel is not yet monetized, you won't have access to this feature. But if you are monetized, if you go into your YouTube studio channel dashboard at studio.youtube.com and on the menu on the left hand side, if you click on the C button icon and then it will take you to this page called channel copyright. If yours is already activated, it will look like this. It will show you the list of all the channels that are using your content and what percentage of it, etc. But if you have not yet got it activated, it will look like this. Under the channel copyright heading, where it says matches, it will say agree to the guidelines to enable access to this tool. If you click on view guidelines and then follow the instructions, you'll be able to set yours up. So let's get into how I saw that this person copied and used my video. I have already got mine set up on this channel of mine. So we are now back on the channel copyright page and it shows you a list of all the channels that are using your content and what percentage of it they are using. So in this example, if you look at the right hand side, we can already see that they have used 100% of my video. So click on the one you want to get more details for and then it opens up and shows more information. You can see the version of your video that they made using your content and a clickable playable button. So you could play the video right there. It also shows how many views they got, the date they uploaded, their channel name and how many subscribers they have. In this case, the channel has way more subscribers than me. They have nearly over double of my subscribers. They have over 43,000 subscribers and I only have around 24,000 subscribers at this moment. Yet, they still deemed it fit to take my whole video and plonk it on their channel with music and cut out my original voiceover. How cheeky. We also have a feature on this channel where you can super thanks, which means giving a small donation to the channel if you found the content useful. All you need to do is click on the hearted thanks button and then choose any amount of your choice. It's very grateful and appreciative of that. Thank you so much. Although this person violated my channel and stole my video,
Don't be too hasty to request a video takedown because you never know if they already have two strikes on their channel and yours could be their third. And if a channel gets three strikes, their channel is at risk of being deleted off the face of YouTube. And it's not nice someone taking your whole video, but <laughs> it's not that deep. I wouldn't want to be the cause of someone potentially losing their whole channel just because they made one mistake of stealing my video. But do you, if you feel like you want to report it, report it. But just know that their whole channel could come down and you could be attributed to that. So because I knew I wasn't going to report it, this is the way I handled my one. So the first thing I did was have a look at their version of the video on their channel. So I clicked on the play button and watched it. After that, I clicked on the channel name to go direct to their channel and see the actual video on their actual channel. After watching the video on their channel, I left a comment under the video, basically just to say, it's not cool to download my whole video and upload it to your channel as your own. And removing my original voiceover and replacing it with music. If I was to request a takedown of this video, it would result in a strike on your channel. And if a channel gets free strikes, the channel is at risk of being deleted. I am nice enough not to request a takedown. But if you fall into the wrong hands, your channel may be deleted. If the person is not so nice and they report you, basically that's what I've said. And kindly ask them to delete the video. Basically, my message is like an out-of-court settlement. <laughs> you know, when you can just settle out of court or if you go and press the report button, that's like going through a formal process. And quite frankly, I don't think it's worth it. If in any case, the copying has been too much on your channel and you're fed up and you actually do want to report it, all you'd need to do is go back into your YouTube studio. As we did before, click on the C button on the left hand side. That will take you back into the copyright page and then click on the one you want to do the takedown request for and then it brings up more details and beside it, you can see this that looks like an envelope. And if you click on that, then it brings up this contact channel box. It shows their channel name and a space also for you to provide your email address. And it says your email address will be shared with the uploader. Further goes on to say their channel name and another YouTube channel noticed their content in a video you uploaded. And it says your video and the title they gave it. And then it says their video and the title and their channel name. And in this case, it's my channel name. And then it says, if you use another channel's content without permission, they may ask YouTube to remove your video. Removal results in a copyright strike against your account. And then it says, learn more in blue. And then below that, it says the channel has provided its email address in case you'd like to start a conversation. And then it says your email address. And then it says the YouTube team. And then at the bottom of that, it says send. But in this case, I'm not going to report it. So I have not pressed send. But then if you press send, you just follow the instructions after that. I just wanted to clarify that if you send the person an email it's you and them having a discussion and probably in that email you can ask them to kindly take down the video but if you want to do the formal takedown request you would need to press the button beside the envelope the one that says report and it looks like an exclamation mark so if you click on that one that will direct you to the formal takedown video request process to request the removal of the video and it's the actual report button that could end up the other channel 
getting a strike on their channel not the actual email one it's the actual takedown request one on the report button with the exclamation mark that would that may result in a strike on their channel just to make that clear i was nice enough not to report it somebody violated me and i'm still there thinking what effect it might have on them that's how nice that's just the kind of person i am but let's have a look at what an actual strike looks like on your channel and it doesn't look very pretty and this ugly red warning will be stuck on your channel for three months is it really worth it the copying must stop and if you are using other people's content at least make it your own don't download their whole video and upload it to your channel and portray it as yours that's really bad i hope we learned one or two things from this video and if you found it useful please share it with your friends spread the awareness and thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to check out my youtube playlist my google adsense playlist my monetization playlist and my demonetization playlist oh yes don't forget to browse through our merch store thanks for watching bye